So we just wanted to jump in and talk about our range day we did today. So anytime you go to the range, anytime we go to the range, there is a plan. So our plan this time around was two main things. One was to work on our fundamentals with two hands, dominant hand, non-dominant hand on our new Grizzly popper targets. And the second thing was to start picking up the cadence for Sarah and just trying to just try to like tie three to five to 10 rounds at a time. And you really got to hammer down that grip. So this range day, it took about two hours. We shot about 150 rounds and that only cost you about $35, not including everything else. So let's jump into the video and talk about the range day. All right, so we always start the range days with a uh, warm up. Our warm up is pretty much always three rounds from three, five, seven, 10 into the 15 yard line. And all we're trying to do is really get the best grouping possible. So we're focusing on the fundamentals with grip, stance, sight alignment, sight picture, trigger squeeze. And you're just trying to maintain that group the farther back that you go. So here are some of the groupings. This is Sarah's from all those yard lines, three, five, seven, 10, 15. And there is mine. I was pretty happy with this grouping with the, uh, the new sights that we put on. So once we got done with the warm up, we installed our new Grizzly Target uh, poppers. These aren't the ones that are reactive. These are the ones you just kind of stake into the ground. And they're kind of hard to see if you hit or not. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So once you go through your warm up, we got the Grizzly poppers in the ground. Now we are working on precision at some distance. And we got these Grizzly targets pretty much only because of the tactical games. And this is one of the 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 sections where people either make or break their shots because these these things when your heart rate is high and uh they're this small they are really hard to hit Got it. and then once we got done with doing the uh the two-handed shooting at the poppers we tend to go to strong hand and non-dominant hand for shooting more precision because again at the tactical games they make you shoot two-handed one-handed left-handed right-handed draw and shoot from the holster every single time so you got to be kind of prepared so once we get done with all of our two-handed shooting and one-handed shooting on the poppers we want to have some more fun so we have to pick up the pace and we went to the ipsic steel and started doing some uh, rapid fire shooting so shots of like three five or ten as fast as you can and the focus when you're doing any kind of speed shooting is going to be pretty much strictly grip and trigger control. If you're, if you're not gripping that thing super hard, your shots are going to go all over the place. And once we get all done with all that kind of stuff, this is about an hour and a half into the range day. We always like to go to the 100 yard bay <clears throat> and see how we can push the accuracy a distance. So with these new uh, Vogel Dynamics fiber optic sights, it is much easier to see that target at 100 yards between the, the front blade being really really thin and that front fiber optic being really really bright it wasn't that difficult to hit 100 yards so usually every time we go to the range i end up learning a micro detail and this time i've heard derek talk about it for the past three years equal height equal light equal height equal light and I noticed during our warm-up session that all of my pistol shots from anywhere from three to 10 yards were consistently one to two inches low, which is pretty normal for me. But I started to wonder why, because I didn't feel like I was anticipating my shots. So we went over a bunch of different options of what it potentially could be. And then Derek brought up, where are your front sights? And so I told him I was putting them directly in the middle. So you can see in this photo, it's directly in the middle, but the top sight is not matching the top of the back sight. So that's where the equal height, equal light part comes in. So you can see in this uh, picture, right? The front sight is all the way at the top. So we redid my warm up drill towards the end of the range day, and all of my shots were completely on the bullseye. And so that was the main thing that I wasn't doing, and I had no idea. So that always goes back to the fundamentals. No matter whether we're beginner or have been shooting for a really long time, we're all always going to go back to the firearm fundamentals. So if you don't know what the fundamentals are or you're still working through them and need to constantly go back to them, 
We do have a free video series called Mastering the Basics of Pistol. Uh, go uh, to, I'll put it in the description in this video and you can go and you can download that and it'll go straight to your email inbox. And so, yeah, that was my lesson learned for the day and chances are I'm gonna learn something new the next time too.